university president would fire me if I didn't say that I'm not from the City University of New York, as the program says. I'm, I'm from New York University, and it's uh, the difference between a massive public institution and a massive private institution. I'm from the private institution. Um, and um, I am bringing a, a child development perspective to uh, our deliberations today. I, I've spent most of my life trying to understand how poverty and violence get inside the head of children and youth and get under the skin, affect their, their thinking, their emotions, and their health. Um, and uh, I have three messages this morning. The first is that the kind of conditional cash transfers that were pioneered in Mexico and Brazil and have spread throughout the world can help change things that we have not yet observed or measured. So for instance, in work with Jim Riccio uh, and MDRC, we raised uh, some money to do a more intensive study of some processes and outcomes that developmental psychology might hypothesize are being affected that, but had not yet been observed. Uh, two examples. We uh, uh, interviewed children, uh, a random sample of the adolescents, the high school children, uh, a random subsample from the uh, Oppor Opportunity NYC study, and we asked, we took ta detailed time diaries for an average weekday. Um, and the detailed time diaries indicated to us that there was a very substantial shift based on conditional cash transfers. The, the program uh, youth began to spend more time on academics um, and less time just hanging out with friends. That sounds pretty good. The, the mechanism for CCTs should affect time use for, for older children. The second finding was that um, uh, the children in the uh, receiving conditional cash transfers reduced, had reduced substance use and they hung around with youth who had reduced substance use. I used to joke with Jim that this indicates to me what my grandmother used to say. If you, if you settle down, you spend time on your books and quit hanging around with those kids, you're going to do better. And indeed, uh, it is my grandma's theory that is being observed. Um, uh, but um, observing and testing specific mechanisms by which social policies affect child and human development we have to, get, to rely more and more on science to look at the mechanisms. My second point is that context matters. We did not observe the same effects for children in all of the low-income schools in New York City that were part of the study. For the very worst schools, the children um, did as the theory intended. But in relatively better off schools, the, the um, intervention didn't work as well. Context matters. We have to not assume one size fits all at the local level. And our theories have to begin to uh, take context into account in a much more important way. My final message is that in the US, we're missing an opportunity to use conditional cash transfers to direct uh, attention to the poorest, youngest children in our country, the children zero to three. We were not able to implement a zero to three conditional cash transfer because Michael Bloomberg, the mayor, did not believe that there were supply side uh, services that we could uh, ethically motivate um, to uh, children to take up. I think that's changing, but I think that there's an been an enormous growth in evidence-based interventions for kids zero to three through pediatric practices, through nurse home visiting, through uh, parent-child interaction interventions. We could incentivize uh, states and governments and local authorities to take up evidence-based interventions supply, with supplied side incentives and then uh, incentivize the very young parents of very young children to participate in them. And uh, we are now not spending money on the most vulnerable period of life uh, in an effective way in this country. I don't, and uh, three, two, 
one. You have time. We we have uh, we aren't spending the the um, the money where uh, it could have the biggest impact. I am not a believer that only early intervening early is right. Intervening throughout the life course to adulthood is right, but we're missing the opportunity to really apply uh, these things to early development. Thank you very much.